Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity. Real name is Mark. And in today's video, we are going to be going over the most underrated car in each class of car in Grand Theft Auto Online. The only class that I am not going to be including is the remote control class. Because, obviously, every single other class, boats, planes, bicycles, it doesn't matter, f feet, different shoe wears, different eye contacts they're all included in this video partner not really you can't actually buy eye contacts in G gta online and i don't care about the shoes so i'm not ranking the shoes but yeah we're going to be going over the most underrated cars in my opinion in each one of the classes this is in no particular order by the way i'm just going to randomly choose classes to do so without further ado let's get right into it first up let's talk about the sedans class the most underrated car in the sedans class to me is the shafter v12 this Dude, do you remember when this car came out and everybody was uh, drag racing people at the airport? Somehow, TSA failed in that aspect, but either way, they were drag racing each other, and the Shafter V12 was just smoking everything because of its top speed being absolutely ridiculously insane. Yeah, well, it's still like that. The top speed is absolutely insane. It may look just like a regular Shafter, but it is not. This is a Shafter with hemorrhoids. It is mad. It wants to go to the bathroom, and there's already someone in there. He's upset about it. Let's talk about the utilities class next, uh, because, yeah, I said every single class, so I have to do the boring classes like utility. Um, the one I chose was the tow truck small, um, because I think it's kind of cool looking. I, I don't know what else to say about this. The utility class is not a class I think everybody's like lining up to, to purchase tickets for, so I'm going to end this clip now. But yeah, I think this is an underrated vehicle. It's actually kind of cool. Like you could tow things with it. That's baller. Coop's class, on the other hand, I actually do have some stuff to say about because this class has some heavy freaking hitters, man. It has got the Zion in it, it's got the Previon in it, it's got the FR36, it now has the Euros X32 in it. Like, it's got some, it's got some big baller, boys, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going with the F620. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A 2013 OG vehicle that you can get for completely free off the streets and looks like a sports car, but is actually in the Coop's class is my choice because it looks like a sports car, but it's in the Coop's class. It is one of the most underrated cars in the game, period. I think everybody sleeps on it. Is it good for racing? Absolutely freaking not. You would have better luck going outside, getting a wheelbarrow, cutting the freaking tire tires directly off the wheelbarrow, and then just sitting in that wheelbarrow and hoping that some, like, dog happens to run by and hits you down the hill or something. That's the, You would have better luck winning a race doing that than actually driving the F620, but I like how it looks. Compact's class, on the other hand, you actually could get pretty good results with in terms of racing, because I picked the Rhapsody. Do anybody remember? Is anybody old enough to remember when the freaking I'm Not a Hipster update came out and this car was in it, dude? That was peak GTA Online. The I'm Not a Hipster update with eight new cars. Everybody was going crazy. It was so cool. But the Rhapsody is a compact, and it's actually decently fast. It's obviously not the fastest in the class or anything like that, but it's top five, so you can get some good results from it. And most importantly, it looks hilariously cool. It's, it's, it's an AMC Pacer. I get that the Pacer in real life, is about as wanted as a freaking as a as a as a dude with with no teeth but in the game it's cool this is a big one the sports class as a matter of fact it's the biggest one this is the lizzo of car classes in gta online it has over 100 vehicles in it it is by far the biggest and i think the most underrated car of all those 100 vehicles is the gb200 not because its performance is incredible or anything no as a matter of fact it's literally pretty much right smack dab in the middle in terms of performance it's not great but it's not bad it's just the most average sports car you can buy but it's omg it is amazing omg you want to know what that stands, that stands for O my gonorrhea this car is great i love it i love everything about it because it's the ford rs 200 which is already cool enough but it's actually a decent rally car in the game it's incredibly light in the game it looks is so cool i'm gonna say something that's gonna sound crazy i think it looks better than the regular ford rs 200 i said it the military class is actually a surprisingly big class not in terms of like cars you know it doesn't have like a large number of vehicles but all the vehicles are so unique and so different that it's actually kind of hard to pick one but i picked the barrage hear me out no it's not armored it can't take any crazy missiles no it can't do any amphibious stuff or anything like that no it doesn't have the best guns in the game on it but you can carry a lot of people it's incredibly fast especially for the military class it's incredibly good off-road and it does have weapons on it it's almost like it's almost like a mixture between like an insurgent and a dune buggy but just cooler in absolutely every single way here's another big one man we're hitting we're hitting some heavy hitters don't worry though 
And after this, it is not a heavy hitter, but the Sports Classics class is a cool freaking class in GTA Online. One of my favorite classes in the game. They have so many cool cars in it, but the Zion Classic, I think, is the most underrated. I'm a BMW boy, in case you don't know. I like when I buy my cars, I like to be able to drive it for 10 miles, and then it blows up, and I have to sit on the side of the road. I think that's awesome. Okay, I love that. I love having to spend $200 on a special socket in order to get a bolt out of my freaking engine mounts. That's incredible. I love that. So I like BMWs. And the Zion Classic is based off of... A, older BMW, the E24, Shark Nose BMW, and it is one of my favorite BMWs of all time. It is, oh, it's so amazing. Is it great in terms of its performance? No, it's so average in terms of its performance for the Sports Classics class, but I don't care because it looks incredible. There will never be an account that I have on GTA Online where I don't own a Scion Classic. The Emergency class, on the other hand, just got actually a pretty decent amount of new cars to it with the new up with the new DLC, and I think the Impaler SZ Cruiser is the most underrated of all those vehicles. It is, again, just a police car. I mean, every single vehicle in the Emergency class pretty much is just a police car, so there's not really like anything special about any of them. But the Impaler SZ Cruiser is so iconic bro like the seventh gen impalas as police cars have been around for decades and i love that they just need to add a ford crown vic now well they kind of do though the stay near police car so yeah actually never mind this is good all right this is probably the biggest class in the entire game at least the one that people care the most about it doesn't have the most in terms of actual cars but it's definitely the one that people actually care the most about the supers class and in my opinion the most underrated supercar in the game is the furia the furia is the definition of gorgeous the furia is Sydney Sweeney, Madeline Klein, freaking Megan Fox, Anna's De Armas, and Oprah Winfrey all thrown into one package. Beautiful. It is beautiful in every single way. Honestly, I've said it before in the past. I'll say it again. Throw Judge Judy in there too. That's how beautiful this bad boy is. Its performance is above average. I want to say that, but it's definitely not like you're not going to be winning any crazy races with it. But its performance is definitely above average. But I, it doesn't even. It, this car could be the slowest thing in the world. It could. You could have to carry it to across the finish line in order to finish the race, and I would still want to carry it. Would still be here because of how freaking sexy it is. The Tuners class is another really, 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 really big class because people care a lot about this class because of the free cars that you can get every week for tuner races. And in my opinion, the Calico GTF is the most underrated of the bunch. The Sultan RS Classic and the Vector are both very, 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 very good in the tuners class. And so people use those a lot when they race. But the Calico GTF is always right there behind them, just, just a smidgen behind them. And honestly, I'm going to say something that's going to sound crazy. If you are new to racing in GTA, I think the Calico GTF is a better choice than the Sultan RS Classic and the Vector. Both those cars tend to spin out a little bit here and there and oversteer, but the Calico GTF does not. And so I think it's a much easier car to handle if you're a new player and it's only fractions slower than them anyway. And so I think it's massively slept on. Oh boy. The Open Wheels class, a class that should be one of the biggest classes in the game, but Rockstar decided we're going to make it and then forget about it like Casey Anthony, although Casey Anthony, she did not forget about her children. She did horrible things to her children, as a matter of fact. But in my opinion, the DR1 is the most underrated. Now, there's only four cars in this class. I didn't even know if I should have included it in the list. Um, but yeah, there's only four. There's the R88, the PR1, the BR8, or BR... What the hell is the BR6? I can't remember what that one's called. Uh, and then the DR1. The DR1 is just gorgeous. It's the second fastest, or third fastest in the class, I think. Um, but it doesn't matter. Almost all the uh, open wheel cars are competitive enough to be used anyway. So it really doesn't matter. The DR1 is just sexy. This is probably the most boring class in the entire game, the industrial class. There is not a single car in the industrial class that I think is cool, so I'm going to choose the flatbed uh, because you can put cars on it and take pictures with it. That That's the absolute only reason why I'm putting it here as the most underrated ca car in, in the class. And it's only underrated because who cares about the industrial class? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got another freaking queso of a class here, the motorcycles class. And in my opinion, the most underrated is the Dinka Double T. The Body 801, goaded, right? Everybody loves it. The Akuma, goaded. The Hakucho Drag, goaded. There are some goaded cars in the motorcycles class. Don't get me wrong, partner. Don't get me wrong. Get me right, okay? But the Double T is one of those street bikes that you would expect people to love because it's an awesome, gorgeous street bike that you can do really good wheelies on. You can do better wheelies on a Double T than you can on the Body 801, and people just don't really care. Is its performance as good as the Body 801? No, but it's not that far off, man. Planes. This is a class that a lot of people care about. I personally don't. I don't spend too much time in planes in GTA Online, and when I do, I'm pretty much only doing the Laser or the Raiju. However, the Pyro, 
is one that I tried and I freaking loved. I don't know if you plane guys really enjoy the pyro and if this is actually like an overrated plane to, I, I don't know. I don't know how the, what the plane community in GTA online thinks about this plane. But in my opinion, I don't, I've never heard of anybody really talking about this plane and I freaking love it. It is so agile, so nimble. This thing is a Usain Bolt of airplanes and I loved that about it. Here's another class that I don't really care too much about and I, as a matter of fact I, I fly helicopters less than I fly planes in this game like I I don't think I ever get in helicopter except for the sparrow I get in the sparrow to do the Kyle Perico ice but that's it but it's the FH-100 uh it's another attacking vehicle that I thought was really cool I know the Akula has the sp stealth modes so everybody likes that the sparrow super fast the buzzard you can sp pretty much is the sparrow but a little bit worse in every way but I feel like nobody ever talks about this one, and it's just as cool as the rest. Sure, it doesn't have any special gadgets on it. It can't do backflips. It can't go to your sister's wedding for you so that you can stay home and play Rainbow Six Siege. It can't do any of that for you. But it, what it can do is be freaking devastating to the lobby. The boats class. If there's one single person watching this video that actually cares about the boats class, please subscribe because you are a rare man. I want to know that I have the one and only boat care, boat enjoyer in GTA Online subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. But in my opinion, the dinghy is the most underrated. Why? Because it's the most useful boat of all boats and no one talks about it. You know, Think about how often you've used a dinghy in GTA Online. Probably so much. It's such, it's like the dinghy is like, it, it is the beginner's goat, right? Like the, everybody in the beginning of your game, you use dinghies. And then, yeah, it falls off and you'd never use it after you start to buy new items that are more useful like oppressors or sparrows and stuff like that but in the beginning of the game man the dinghy was always there for you i love this thing the cycles class has about six i think vehicles in it because they're just bicycles they haven't added, ever added a dlc bike or anything like that but the bmx bike is most underrated because it's also the most overrated it's the most favorite it's the most least favorite because no one cares about bikes except for people that are doing tricks on them and the only one that you can do tricks on them with is the bmx the rest of them are useless men like I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even know their names and i've been playing this game since 2013 and i do not know the names of any of the other bikes in this game one's the whip it actually i think the whip it race bike uh, that that's it though off-roads class i like this class i really do it's a really fun class to race in it's a really fun class to drive around free mode in and my most underrated vehicle for it is the rattel it's a pretty new vehicle okay it's pretty new pretty new this bad boy is about three months old and is already making its rounds let me tell you because it's a fun fun vehicle to drive it's really fast for the class too it's definitely not the fastest you know Draugr is just a freaking monster truck but it's a fast vehicle for the class it is and it looks incredible. It has tons of cool customization. It can really just go off-road. This thing is a off-roading beast. They don't have the Grand Canyons or the Himalayas in GTA Online, but if they did, this thing would probably be climbing it at, at all times. This is probably the last big class of this game, and it is the Muscles class. And in my opinion, the most underrated muscle car is the Gauntlet Classic. The Muscle Clock class uh, has a lot of heavy hitters as well. Buffalo STX, Vizero ZX. Uh, honestly, the dominator asp was really good you remember when he dominator asp was like freaking running lobbies the dominator gt is actually decent too but the gauntlet classic is just mm, perfection mm, mm. as a fan of the classic 60s and 70s muscle cars a 60s chart challenger or 70s challenger is exactly what gta needed and they made it so good it is so good. I do like this one better than the Gauntlet Classic Custom, by the way, too. Um, the Custom, I just think, I don't, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you put Daytona parts on a Challenger that was the Charger? It doesn't really make sense to do that. So I like the regular Gauntlet Classic a whole lot better. Um, this is pretty much just for looks, if I'm being honest, but it is decent in the class, too, for performance. All right, we got a couple of classes to get out of the way here. We got three classes in a row that nobody's going to care about. First off is the Vans class. In my opinion, the Yuga Classic 4x4 is the most underrated. Uh, there actually is a decent number of vans in this game. Um, you can get the Candyman van, just getting this on an actual vehicle, but you could get a, a decent amount of vans, and there are just some cool ones, but the Yuka Classic 4x4 just stands out to me in a lot of ways. It's not like the fastest van in the game. I think that's the Gang Burrito still, if I'm not mistaken, um, but it is still a really, really cool vehicle. Commercial class. There are a, approximately one vehicle that you probably care about in the commercial class, and it's the Stockade. It's a useful vehicle because it drives around the map sometimes in story mode and you can break it, break into it and steal some money. That's that's about it. There's no other vehicles in the commercials class that I would be like, yeah, that's a that's a cool vehicle everybody wants to talk about. The stockade, that's that that's the only one. The service class is honestly pretty much the exact same way, but it does have a couple. It has the Dune in it, and it's got the Wastelander, which is in my opinion the most underrated vehicle in that class. The Wastelander is fast, dude. This thing 
oh my god i'm burping like crazy people sleep on its performance it's actually not like you would think it's horribly slow because it's a rusted mad max style freaking vehicle but it's not it's actually decently quick and go off road really well you could put vehicles in the back of it you can't hold on to them of course but you can put them in there for a little bit and it looks hilariously awesome and it reminds me of that game earn to die do you remember the game earn to die on the mobile please tell me that someone else out there and remembers that game so i don't look like an idiot but ending off this video with the final class, the SUVs class. The SUVs class surprisingly does have a lot of very cool vehicles nowadays. I think I feel like they only very, very recently started to add some cool vehicles to the SUVs class. So maybe in the past like two or three years, because before that there was nothing. Now we got things like the Toros, the Ashburn Custom, the Novak, the uh, Jubilee. We just got another SUV too, I can't think of it. The Dorado, that's the one we just got. There's a lot of cool SUVs in the class now, but the Rebel GTS is by far my favorite, and I feel like no one ever cares about that. It's not the best in performance, but again, not everything is about performance. If this was to say, oh, what's the best class car for a performance video, then I would just make that, but I just made that a couple days ago, so I'm making this one instead. The Rebel GTS is a gorgeous car, and again, I'm a BMW fan, so of course I'm putting this bad boy here. I love BMWs, and it's a BMW X5, baby. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video of the most underrated car in each class of GTA Online car classes. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please just like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. The next one of these style videos, where it's like the best of, uh, the best of each class thing, is probably going to be the most overrated car of each class. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But let me, let me know what other opinions, uh, ideas you have for this, because I'm already running out. So yeah, if you guys want to do like, uh, oh best uh looking car i don't know it's it's totally up to you but i, I want to make more videos like this but i'm already running out of ideas for it so again let me know what other videos you like to see uh also just let me know what other videos you like to see in general but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it das Vidania, and have a nice night